Welcome to our devotional series. We're looking at Be Thou an Example of Believers. This is the second devotional in a series that will last about a month. As we take a look at this devotional series, we'll be seeing the need for us to set the example for others around us. If you remember, we just touched on Titus chapter 2 verses 6 through 8. So if you turn there with me this morning, that's where we're going to begin our devotional for this morning. In Titus 2, 6 through 8, please notice first of all what's said. Oh, by the way, let me tell you, as we go through these verses, what we're looking for is the reasons why we should be setting the proper example in the eyes of others. Okay, why should a Christian do that? Well, we're going to find out in these verses. Okay, here in Titus chapter 2 and verse number 6, listen to what's said. Likewise, exhort the young men to be sober-minded. Okay, we might look at that and think, aha, that means if I'm older in age, I don't need to worry about setting the example for others. No, that's not right at all. I believe the reason why Titus is, uh, why Paul, excuse me, is talking to younger men and why he's instructing younger men to set the proper example for others is because he understands, first of all, when we have our youth, we have the greatest opportunities to serve the Lord. As we grow older, we find our bodies aren't able to work quite as well as they used to. As we grow older, we find our minds aren't able to think quite as clearly as it used to and might not be able to remember things like it used to. And so our service to the Lord could be hindered as we get older. But Paul understood when a person's young, man, I'll tell you what, when a person's young, they have a strong body for the most part. Most people when they're young have a clear mind that can really be used for the Lord. And that's one of the greatest times to set the example for the Lord when we have all those physical and mental capabilities that we might begin to lose with older age. But not only that, I think Paul also understands the need to set the proper habits in our life when we're young. If we learn to set the proper example for others in our life when we're young, it becomes just kind of natural as we grow older. But you know, the problem is if we get our ways set and if we don't really care about how we're living our life during you know, our youth, as we get older, it gets much more difficult for us to change our ways. You know, in some ways it truly is difficult to teach an old dog new tricks. So I think Paul understands that as well. And he addresses younger men and says, look, if you learn now to set the proper example for others, if you learn to think of others in the context of making choice, choices of how you're going to live your life, it'll become natural for you as you get older and it'll be much easier for you to do. So folks, <clears throat> if you're younger out there and if you're listening to this devotional, I encourage you, please, Learn to set the proper example for others around you now. As young Christians, you'll never regret it as you get older. Another thing, let me just say, keep in mind, age is all relative. You know, when you talk about, let's say, somebody who's 50, they're young compared to somebody who's 90. So keep in mind, even in the context when Paul is addressing young men and young women, what young means is all you know, relative. No matter what age we might be, in some sense we can look at ourselves as being young in comparison to those who are much older than us. Okay, let's get down to verse number seven. In all things showing yourself to be a pattern of good works. In this text, how is setting the proper example among others around us? How is it described? It is described as being a pattern of good works. Folks, if you think about what a pattern is, ladies I know who work with material, and my mother-in-law does a lot of it, which she does a lot of sewing and quilting and things like that. She uses patterns at times. Patterns are what? You lay the patterns out, and then you cut the material based on what the pattern shows you. The pattern is a guideline. When you follow that guideline, as you cut that material, you end up with a piece of material that's been cut 
exactly in the way it should be. Folks, what's a pattern of good works when people look at our lives, if they follow our lives, and if they live in a way that follows the example we're setting, what should their life display? Good works. How does that work? It's because the person setting the pattern is setting a pattern of good works for them to follow. So when we talk about setting an example for others around us, what's the Bible mean? It means to live a life that is filled with thoughts that please the Lord, filled with words that please the Lord as we speak to others, and are filled with actions that please the Lord. And by doing that, when others around us see our lives and they follow the example we're setting, they can lead lives that are pleasing to the Lord as well. Thank you for joining us in our devotional this morning. As you go out to live your life now today, going to work or wherever you might be headed, please keep in mind, set a pattern of good works in your life. Make it an habitual thing to live your life displaying good works to others so they can follow your example and live lives that are pleasing to the Lord. May the Lord bless you as you go about your day serving the Lord.